Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm in Chiang Mai right now at the plant show called Lana International Plant. And in this event, there's going to be a lot of vendors from overseas. They're invited here and a lot of local Thai growers as well across many, many genuses. Everybody here will be showcasing the most trending plants as well as the most rare and exotic. In case you haven't noticed, everybody's actually setting up right now. It's a chaos here and I really love that pure chaos. So I'm going to show you some clips right after this introduction of how people precariously display their goods with a lot of intent and then we will start with the tour. I also want to thank Mr. Holm who invited me here. He's actually organizing this event with his full team. They are doing the styling for the plants. They organized the vendors, invited them and this is actually near the airport which means a lot of vendors can easily bring in plants to showcase here and then buyers could actually easily bring the plants back home with them after the paperwork is done. Now there's about 130 vendors in this event and he's hoping to turn this into an annual event. There's also a lot of support from the local Thai organizations and government which will show up in the next few days or so. So this is a very exciting event and I'm very, very proud to be able to cover it on my channel. And I'm actually standing in front of this begonia booth. They're one of the early birds. They're one of the first ones to settle in. This is amazing. Look at all these wonderful, large varieties of begonias. Some of them I've seen before, some of them I've never seen before. This booth belongs to Punsi Garden from Thailand. And this lady here, she actually has a YouTube channel here in which Say hello. And she's been displaying her... her hello. <laughs> and she's been displaying a lot of scandapsis here, some anthuriums. I've been to Indonesia, I think two months ago. There's a lot of really interesting plants here. There's some Monstera Dubaya, some scandapsis. I enjoy watching them. And she apparently makes these furniture. Some more early birds have shown up. There are some interesting plants here and this is a Microsorum thailandicum. This is actually native to Thailand. How cute to see them in such a lush pots because I struggle with mine. I don't think they like a lot of water. But look at this beautiful oily leaves and this one has put out spores already. And while setting up I did notice this. This looks like a palm but it's probably a fern. Look at the fronds that it's pulling out. It's actually very small. This is my hand for comparison. It's actually very small. And I love how delicate those leaves are. And they turn into this glossy, shiny foliage. And they have a central trunk that comes down like this. This is very, very exciting to me. I love this particular plant. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. I call the Andrea from Miami. Hello from Miami. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Let's see what this is. This looks like a Certosperma? No. This is the Daka Madagascar. Daka. Daka. Taka. Oh, Taka. Go, 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 go. Interesting. Wow, beautiful leaf. The more common one is maybe the Palmada. Yeah. Yeah. Still undescribed. From Madagascar. Cute. This interesting to me. It looks to me like an anthurium. I've never seen anything like it. Look at the growth pattern on this. This here, this is also an anthurium. How gorgeous are the leaves. Everybody's still busy setting up, but I really want to bring your attention to this Amelia. I don't know if this is many species stuck into one pot, but it works. It really works. And it's for hanging because the pots are already in hangers. How interesting is that? Mm -hmm. 
this is coming together quite nicely. When I arrived about two hours ago, this was actually empty. Love that little bit of color from the bromelia. They really do make a huge difference. Are you shopping already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the angel. This the angel. No, this one I think I already saw this one. Okay. Like, like um, the other four seedlings, not not seven. It's the camphir. It's the camphiria udonensis. Udonensis from? Yes. Do from Mass is it from Kanchanaburi. This is beautiful, it's and it fun. straps down like uh, like this. Cute. But but you you have a pot have a it's a tray or oh, oh it trail sideways yeah yeah it make babies yes, right yes it's it's leaf is maximum size is eighty centimeters. eighty centimeter for leaf <gasps> yes that's big this is also camphoria uh, yes it's, it's camphoria the, it's camphoria kaya kaya yes but new new species oh the, discover new yes okay. One species, one species, yeah. and one species, uh, and two species. I Not don't yet. I, I don't okay. cover it. This one is a Shaflera pumai. Says the tag. This is new to me. It's so beautiful. Wow. It's got very very dense leaves for a Shaflera. How cute! Look at this one, Milano chrysum leaf. This is insane. And that one behind is beautiful too. A lot of these are coming really hot into the market. Although I have failed to see an enormous one yet because I guess they are still quite new. But this is amazing. They have really grown on me, this Milano variegated. This Aglonema is crazy. Look at how beautifully variegated this is. I'm filming this now because I, I might lose this tomorrow when more plants have shown up. I know that people are not ready to display their plants yet. Oh my goodness. And this is huge. This is my hand for comparison. And this is actually very, very big. It's sitting at around a little bit higher than my waist now. So I was just told that these are Philodendron biliotai that is mint. And that one behind there, this is the mint variegated. This is interesting. <laughs> wow. It's beautiful. One new leaf. Now this looks to me like a Pachira aquatica that's variegated. How insane is this? This is really, really beautiful. One of the colleagues, but uh, in market name, people call it uh, AH074. Uh, AH? AH04. A silo 74. But it's actually a pubicalyx. The flower is? Pubicalyx and canosa. Oh, hybrid maybe. Um, uh, it, it's from seedling, but I don't know about this exact, exactly species. <laughs> it was have a, looks like a shattered glass in the leaf. But what is this genus? This is a uh, alopecia. Beautiful. It's not a variegation. It's normally already. Uh, yeah, spotted it's like this. Here, which one is your hybrid? Here. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Can I get a shot? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you. A certain part in Mindanao. So it's very rare, this very one. It's rare. Not yet released. Oh my god. So it's, it's, it's actually a Zebrina, right? Yeah, Zebrina. It's like Zebrina on the PPO. Yeah. The vendors are already buying up each other's plants. This is so cute to watch. <laughs> no, only for you that first bedroom. It's variegated. And I was just explaining this is a form of Zebrina, the Alocasia Zebrina, that has thicker leaves. And look at that centerpiece down the middle. This is super cute. That leaf coming out. Wow. And it's got that typical Zebrina petiole. 
this is an exciting booth. Uh, they're from the Philippines, from Davao. So I, I can't wait to, to come back here to look at more stuff tomorrow. The best thing here is, is not broken the line. Cool. Oh my god, this is the, mesmerizing. Yeah, the breeder uh, usually now have broken the previous one. This one is prominent and big. Even when you say it's broken, what do you mean? Like? Uh, the, the hybrids usually have small pieces of light and this one is almost full. Almost full, yeah, full stripes. stripes. Yeah, and black. Okay. Some are red. There's so many interesting bromeliads here. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen this before. I've never seen this. Because the owner is the breeder also. I need to come to Philippines. Ah. I would love to come. Did you know Paul Macarelio in Indonesia? Paul, no, I don't. Oh. Unfortunately. I don't know much about bromeliads. They always fascinate me though. They're a very, very interesting genus. Alright, this is the booth of uh, Takashi Kitayama. I'm actually new, I'm not familiar with him, but I, this uh, gentleman over there, um, and this, this I saw in the booth, and I have to film today because I don't think it's gonna be here tomorrow. Um, a Monstera Green Ghost, it says. So, this is interesting. Monstera has got green variegation, it's actually very compact. So cute because these leaves have already displayed a mature fenestration. This is my hand, for example. They're actually very small, the leaves are very compact, but it's already fenestrated and it's got really, really wonderful. One. I love that this lady boss is really hands-on with styling the plants. I've been watching her for two hours, she's been running around, making, things, <laughs> making, making sure things are perfect around here. And it is really, really wonderful to see. It's a type. five years ago. It's found in Taiwan. It's a mutated variegation in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? in Taiwan. Very, very small size. Do you know the name? Ah, uh, this Florida uh, Hidalacum. This is interesting. It's a whole new genus that I don't know about. Let me know if you know what this is. The color is petrifying. This looks like an looks like an apishkia or like in the Gesneriad family, an African violet maybe. Beautiful orchids. These are uh, jewel orchids in terrarium, and that one is variegated, variegated jewel orchid. That is so cool, and they sell them in these little contraptions. This is a booth from Equigenera and they are just setting up over here. That's beautiful. Look at the conditions on the leaves. Hi. This is what the collection looks like. They're not fully set up yet. But people really are buying up things. So a lot of the good stuff is actually already going even within the first day. Look at this beautiful interior dolly. This is Kida Nursery from Thailand. I'm really glad to film today to see all the action going on. This is a beautiful alocasia that's putting out an interesting new leaf. Gorgeous. It's got dark foliage. Samarium, I think that's a Sonora over there. And Monstera Mint right here. Right out of the box. A lot of Philodendron ties. Monstera White Mint, I think. Maybe not white because there are some green. Maybe this is just a regular mint. There's another one here. These are huge. Really, really, really big plants. They actually look really good from behind. This is Gloriosum. This is amazing. This is one of the most variegated ones that I've seen. It's gorgeous. Look up close at the variegation. They're still very, very expensive. Look at that. That's just fresh out of the box. It's an alocasia that's variegated. So these are all the plants that Home has already purchased. Yes. So we're going to have one last view before... Uh, I don't know, are these going to be put away for... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. See, it's very, very nice. And conifer. Oh. Where is it from? 
it, it's from this part, northern Thailand. Northern Thailand. Yeah. But how is this rare if it's from here? It's found in a mountainous area, mm. uh, more than 1,500 meters above sea level. Wow, yes. and it can acclimatize to our elevation. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I, I think home is going to bring it uh, to, to his nursery, which is about 1,000 meters. Okay, not Bangkok though, right? Not Bangkok, Bangkok. <laughs> it's really fine here. Yeah. Yes, and this one, this looks like a fern. This is a uh, Nangia, uh, Walikia, mm. Walik, Walikiana. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's also a uh, conifer. Okay. The other uh, sperm. Yeah. It's really nice, the leaves. And that one is trying to put out an, like the new leaves, yeah, right? Yeah, new, new, new shoots, I think. And then they will expand into this over time. Right, right. This is very exciting. It looks like a fern, but it right. is actually a tree. Right, it's a tree. It's exciting. Look at that. <laughs> Everything is trying to grow out of that. And these are all here, again, from Thailand. From Thailand. All, everything from Thailand. Okay. Now, this one is more common, though, right? I've seen this. Uh, it's the same species, but in, in, in Indonesia we have a lot. Yeah, but we plant is a hotspot of this, this kind of plant, you know, we have more than 50 species. This is the same uh, family with rhododendron. Interesting, look at the flowers from down below. It actually looks like a Hoya. Is this in a... Yeah, yeah, because it's umbilical-like, it's, it's, it's come out as a... Yeah, and that, all the ants, yeah, they're just they enjoying. Like Does it smell good? I, I haven't tried. You, you can I mean, try it. I think. Nope, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. But this is very, it's very reminiscent to the Hoya flowers. Very, very similar. Yeah, it belongs to the rhododendron family. This one. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. It's like a mini. Yeah. And it forms little clumps on the side. Right, right. right. Very nice. Is this one plant? It is, right? Yeah, or. Uh, normally this one they don't branch you know maybe they're they spore yeah get, yeah fell in there yeah fell in there yes this is really adorable i have not is this new to the market or is this been not around new, but rare okay yeah rare to the market i've not seen this yeah, before not new. yeah so it is a fern because you said that it's do spore yeah it's a fern it yeah, looks yeah, really yeah, curious Regnum. very cool Thank you. Uh, leaf cutting. This was grown from a leaf cutting? Um, uh, for fun, uh, yeah. For fun, yes. They can be done from leaf cutting? Yes. Leaf cutting. So like the leaf and... Yes. One year. Oh. One season. Okay. Uh, Impatience mirabilis. Impatience mirabilis. Yes. And, and the uh, color flower is pink. Okay. Normally yeah. it's color flower is yellow. 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 And it forms a little codex on the base. Yes. And the diameter, it, it can grow up to 80 centimeters. Oh my god, that's fun. And a four meters tall, you see, that this. Yeah. Yeah. But these are shade loving plants, right? Not direct light. Yeah. They are not. Mm -hmm. All right, so the voice you just heard in the last few clips was from Mr. Tiakas from Queen's Secret Botanical Garden. And you can actually see him in Summer Rain Oaks videos when she was visiting the Queen's Secret Botanical Garden. All right, I was actually a little bit sidetracked by a few things that happened before. Hello. But yeah, these guys are setting up the vertical garden. This is really beautiful. This is a philodendron. Which one? What? And it's variegated? Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, there's all these rare arrows. It's like Anthurium, Spaghetti, Philodendron, Patricia. It's a lot of really interesting. And this is a variegated Tetrasperma just hanging out out here. Like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is an amazing setup with the felt wall or what do you call this behind? Really interesting. There's see a little bit of a raphidophora behind there. So do you design before or just use feeling now? Design before. So the, everything you already know where yeah. to go. Owner, owner, designer, everything. Everything. <laughs> that is really cool. Is the Spiritus Sanctiae from tissue culture or is it from yes. seedling? Tissue, tissue, tissue culture. culture. That's amazing. Wow. Very hardworking man. <laughs> That's variegated. This is insane. And there's another variety here called Papua Snow. 
I'm guessing it's probably from Papua New Guinea. There's a lot of here. All still in their little baggies, I guess for humidity purposes. It's, it says it's the Begonia erectopara from Vietnam. It's interesting, it's got those spots that are typical with begonias, but if you look, they have these pink little speckles around them as well. This is amazing, it's only the first day, they've made a lot of sales already. So this booth that we saw earlier, they're one of the early birds. This is what it looks like once it's set up. How beautiful is this? Let me come around the front. Man, that looks amazing. So I spoke to the lady, I think her name is Stink. And she's actually a fashion designer and also a furniture designer. So last minute she actually designed these for and what a hard and I, I noticed her for the last two hours just making sure everything is perfectly set up. Look at how this is this is beautiful of plants. These are all drawers from the furniture. And look at this dark leaf anthurium. This is really, really beautiful. They provide such a nice pop of color. We're still on the first day and there's this beautiful fern and the, I believe the name is on the screen. Actually, that's a very good price. Very good price. And someone came by and bought all of it. It's beautiful and blue, bluish silver in color. Do you know where this is from? From Ecuador. Miami. From Ecuador? From the Amazon Basin. Gorgeous. Yeah, so these are sold you guys, even before the event officially started. That's amazing. That's good to hear. These are variegated jewel orchids, you guys. Look at this. This is insane. And then this is a variegated, uh, I'm not sure the, the species exactly, but I've seen the green forms quite often. How wonderful is this? Look at that. This is the prettiest thing ever. Oh, and this is Kida Nursery, by the way. And there's a variegated ficus larata. This seems to be a green on green kind of variegation because their normal variegation is yellow. This is interesting. And they're sold in these tissue culture jars. Yeah, I'm guessing these plants actually are in tissue cultures. Beautiful, look at that. Wow. Florida. No, no. No, no. No, no. Uh, no pink, no, no. Pink, no. is it philodendron? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Musa. Musa, oh, Musa. No, no. A banana, kind yeah. of, yeah. Beautiful. Wow, so there's a lot of tissue culture of everything, aeroids, non-aeroids. Uh, El Choco. El Choco Red. Yeah, yeah. Long key. Long key, Okay, this is easy to bring home. <laughs> That's amazing. So this is Kida Nursery. Kida Nursery. Yeah, nice. A lot of philodendron, biliotai, variegated. And that, we filmed the back of that earlier. Yeah. Oh, this is the variegated Gloriosum. We also saw another one over there that looked really amazing. So I guess they're a purveyor of rare and variegated aeroids, this um, Kida Nursery. And the fact that they are situated right in front of the entrance, that means something. Look at that, that's really, really interesting. I wanted some of these for my decor, but I'm a little bit squeamish about having actual insects. This is a variegated birkin. Variegated I'm screaming right now. I'm literally screaming. This is crazy, you guys. This seller has some of the rarest plants I have ever seen. The, those are variegated philodendron UPIs. This is insane. Wow. And there are more that is being unboxed. A lot of variegated, I think, alocasias. This is insane. That looks like a variegated uh, Raphidophora, I think. Oh my god, and they have a lot of them in stock. This is crazy. This is a lot of philodendron UPI. Very good. They're still very, very expensive in Indonesia. I've only seen it one time in my life. And here is the Raphidophora tetrasperma. And I don't know if something's wrong here, but this is variegated. Because if I'm not wrong, correct me, the normal variegation is white in color. But this one's coming in like a creamy yellow color. And this here, this is a nursery from Malaysia. Not very far from Thailand. 
Hello, Hello. how are you? I'm good. And they are? I'm from Malaysia. Yeah, they're wrapping up plants. This is cool. So you're wrapping it up to protect the leaves, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Interesting. Is this a, what is this? This is obliqua. Oblique? Peru form. Oh, this is, but this is the large yeah, form. Large that's, form the, yeah. that's where the leaves look a little bit different from the obliqua that we know. Did these plants just arrive? Ah, uh, yes. No trouble, right, getting in here? No, all with Easy. paper. This is uh, Promani citrus. Promani citrus? Yeah, so right, it, citrus. I've never seen this before. It's really? Yeah, Promania yeah. is this, the one that's quite common now, but this is yes. a different variety. Yes, 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 yes. But where was this variety uh, found? This from Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah, so they're busy setting up over here. It's quite nice to see them at work. And this lady here is kind of like rehabbing them in moss. So people can just take them home right away and don't take off. We have a cacti succulent booth. They actually group everything by genus or by type. So all of the rows here are going to be cacti succulent. And to here, this is going to be bromeliads. I really like how everything is kind of planned out and they have like a flow. And then over there, we see like a row of orchids. This beautiful aloe over here. It's like nice and curly. It's twisting around on itself. And if you look at the inside, whoa, it looks like a tentacle of a kraken. That one has formed clumps around it. This is truly something. I've never seen anything like it. This is a very dramatic plant. So this is just out of the box. Everybody looks really, really good. Very tidy. I really love, if you look at it from up above, it looks really, really beautiful. Bam. Uh, I enjoy this process. I could sit here for hours and just watch them unpack. Let's get up close and see what it looks like on the inside. Wow! Oh, flowers! This is amazing! One more. Let's do one more. One more unboxing before we go. I think that is a... I don't know the name exactly, but it looks... It's got the looking glass, I think. eagerly waiting for what's inside this box and there <laughs> cute oh and people are already buying things it looks amazing i love watching this hours i love seeing plants they're interacting with the plants and then when they're finding out which ones they want to bring home ah oh, man that's so cute watching people shopping buying for plants and sometimes when someone asks questions about plants, it shows me that you're interested. That also brings a smile to my face. Oh, there's so many varieties. I don't know half of these names. I really don't. But this must have been a popular seller than some of the other booths. This one looks like a caterpillar. Interesting. Yeah, they sold quite a bit over there. This is turning into a bit of a plant tour, but again, I don't want to lose this because when I come back tomorrow, these might have all been sold. This is a variegated plant. I'm not sure exactly the genus or the species, what it looks like from up above. And in this booth, there's a gorgeous peace lily. This is Pathophyla. This is a Travesia pal palmata, variegated. Look at that. Love bit of detail and if you look down below there look at that it's trying to actively put out new growth from behind it and that is so cute i think i see like three or four leaves coming out and then there's spines all along the main stem what a gorgeous plant and this one fern here this is also variegated i actually showed this a few episodes ago at my house where it was like wilting because it actually is a plant that is i believe it's my aquatic it wants to always sit in water but this is a variegated variety and a new like this but that fern that i have is actually now perked up ever since i've been letting it sit in water interesting colocasias this is very this is like a white lava but it's got really really dark form this leaf is not going to show on camera but it's go, it's completely black it's almost like jet black and the name of the booth is yayao house plants they have a lot of interesting plants i saw them set up earlier and i've already a lot of them has already caught my eye since earlier on. And I believe this is a Schismatoglodus. And it's wonderfully variegated. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is an old 
old yellow leaf with just a little bit of green on it. And that's the price in Thai bot. And she's wrapping this up. Yes, been sold already. There is a pot vendor here and that is the Instagram and Facebook. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm from Lampang. Chiang Mai. Yes. Nice. This is amazing. Can you want to say hi? Hello. Hi, hello. This is beautiful. It looks like... Uh, how do you even do it? Thank you. It's very creative. Yeah. Wow. From cat pot succulent. Mm -hmm. And then that's small hand. And everyone different. Yes. Everyone is different. Let me look at those. The smaller ones are cute. Yeah. This will really elevate the plants. Like having them live in these ones. This one has little legs on it. This is beautiful. I have too many pots. I know I should not I should not shop for more, but look at this. And they have hole, yeah, they have a drainage hole on them. Interesting. Yeah, do reach out on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you. This is from the Faculty of Agriculture in Chiang Mai. And I really, really want to bring your eyes to this Selaginelia. Is it variegated? And some blue. If I can right now, this would have been it. This would have been it. Look at how insanely beautiful this is. Oh my god, and there's another one less variegated. But correct me if I'm wrong, but Selaginelia, they can be propagated by cuttings. Or you can just lay them on top of another pot or media, they will root into it and then you can cut them up and it will become their own plant. They're actually unstoppable, they're very very fast growing plants. This is just something you guys, this is crazy. This is such a beautiful orchid booth, you guys look at that. I think these people are already buying up orchids. How beautiful is that, look at this wonderful setting here. It'll be so chaotic tomorrow with more people, so I'm really really glad to be here today. What a beautiful lady. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, they have hoopers here. Look at all these. They look like in pristine conditions. Everybody looks so fresh. It's amazing. And there's some, uh, some ferns down below. Look at that one. This is the Microsorum thailandicum that we saw earlier. Yeah, people are buying them up fast. <laughs> so this one is sold out, it's 350 baht, which is actually very affordable. So this is the Queen's Secret Botanical Garden, and that is actually Mr. Piyakas. <laughs> Trying to deal with a lot of the plants are already sold out actually, but more are coming in. I believe these are mostly endemic plants to... And this one is cute too. There's a lot of really curious species that are not, like not popular, there's something else. This is really really interesting. And they're moving really fast. They're going away really fast. Yeah, we will do a more extensive tour of the booth because people are still setting And we're also doing some tissue culture and a bit of research within the garden. There's a lot of dark form gloriosum. I don't know if that's actually the name of it, but you see them here and then over there there's a whole pile of them and they're about the same size and this is going to suggest that they are probably tissue culture so i guess tissue culture is the future of house plants look at this foliage on foliage action this is amazing when you have glorious down in a clump they can look really wonderful and these are huge peperomia argyria look at that that's my hand that plant it's insanely huge there's a begonia cathedral they look really beautiful light shining behind them and you admire them again when you have like line shining through it it looks amazing it lights up like a beautiful lantern and I think in her hand she's putting together Certosperma some Kokodama these are terracotta pots with some live moss on it quite beautiful doesn't it it looks like an actual like cliff this is really way done Actually, there's a row of rare plants along this corridor and this is the Philodendron Whipple Way. But what I want to say is I wanted to have a commentary on what's going on here. That's a beautiful Philodendron oh, uh, Lupinum, that's a mature form. Anyways, what I was going to say is that we can't do this in Indonesia. We can't just leave plants 
sitting around like this unattended. It will be gone in 60 seconds if we do. And this speaks highly about Thailand people's integrity and their low crime rate. Before I forget, let me show you today the flowers of these jewel orchids. Let me know if you know the genus name for this. I never know what to call them because every time I do a Google search, something else comes up. These are all cared for in very pristine conditions. And for y'all begonia lovers, I actually filmed this in an Indonesian plant tour video a few weeks ago. I saw this at a at Flowey. Many of them here. This is an interesting begonia. I don't know the name, but I've seen this all over Instagram. And I haven't seen this in Indonesia yet. So I think this is probably one that we don't have a lot of. And a lot of really nice variegated apishkia. I believe these are called the Cleopatra, but I could be wrong. Really love that extra bit of pink and the flowers are also pink. They do trail down amazingly and they're actually very easy to care for and propagate. So everybody's coming to this plant. This is the Monstera Simba. Simba. So it's a Thai constellation mutation found by Michael D'Andrea from the United States, from Miami. Yeah, so this is a Thai constellation that's a tri tricolored and you call it the? Tres Leches. Tres Leches. That's a hilarious one. Do you want to say hi, by the way? Yeah, this is Michael, everyone. Yeah, so Michael was telling me that he basically hunts for these mu uh, mutations and sometimes he goes to nurseries in Florida and personally weeds out out of the tens and thousands of plants, ones that have different sport, different interesting pattern or growth habit or variegation, and then he collects those. So that is wonderful. And this one is from you as well, right? I, I filmed this earlier. This, this, uh, this Taka, Taka. Maka. Yeah. Taka. And these are all like, this is Thai constellation Lana. Yeah. That's a different name for Lana, these. Lana, this is for the show. We had two different mutations, so we just named them Lana 1, Lana 2. Okay. And there's no three? Not yet. Okay. We're looking, we're looking for it. <laughs> and that's the Philodendron Ilsamani yeah. there, and a lot of anthuriums. Interesting. These are all yeah. the things I sold today. Yeah. These are the things I bought today. So these over here you bought, yeah. and this is I filmed this this morning, thankfully, before you snatched them up, so to see them up close. And then this is what you sold, yeah. and this is the crystal, red crystal. Yeah, a lot of yeah, crystal lineup hybrids, or uh, what they call the dark block hybrid. Dark block hybrid, okay. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, they were snatched up really fast. Your booth like did really well this morning. The minute you unbox things, like, like people were just rushing here. That's amazing. It's very nice to meet you, by the way. Oh, and in this booth, there's a name card here. It's a website called Monstera X. And it is supposed to be a rare plant marketplace for international buyers, international players. So feel free to check it out if, if you're interested in really, really rare plants. And this is a bigger poster. I don't know if you can pause the screen and then scan this. You probably could. Or you can just go to the website, monsterax.com. It's not too hard to remember. And this is what the interface probably looks like. And I guess you could buy them again from all over the world. You can see where the countries, the cities that they're posted in. And again, this is mostly for very for rare plants. We gotta talk about this palm. This is so interesting. It's huge. It's got this loud neon color. This is a new leaf that's coming out. And look at how the leaves are like, how, what is called this? Inter, intermingling into each other through the stems. Like, look at that. It looks like they're weaving into each other. This is a very, very elegant palm. Beautiful. Let me see if I can get the species. And then there you go. This is the Hedis, Hedis Shim. Long it. And it's only 300 baht. This is crazy. 300 baht. I am moving to Thailand. Let me tell you, I'm moving here. I don't care who I have to marry, but I want to be a Thai citizen. Okay, so on the screen, there is a name card. Feel free to freeze or pause. Joshua came up to me. I, he's a viewer on my channel, introduced himself. Basically, he's from a foundation in southern part of Taiwan that actually conserves plants in, I believe, 13 greenhouse nurseries but also they do nitrogen oxide did he say nitrogen i can't remember what but he froze they froze the dna of each of these plants in a library to keep them preserved 
for many many lifetimes so this is such a good cause and I'm really glad he came up to me if this is something that's interesting to you I guess I'm just spreading the word that this organization exists and hopefully one day I can do a tour of their greenhouse and learn more about their cause but they do preserve every species they are not picky they're not choosy about what species they choose because a lot of them have been understudied but he did mention that they are not particularly collecting rare plants for the variegation and all, all these other traits this here this is a beautiful raphidophora Look at the very they care for in very pristine conditions. There's more back there. This I believe is a skindapsis probably. I don't know this variety of skindapsis, never seen it before. There's more back there. But it's actually around 5.30 p.m. I've been here all day long. And I think it's time to head back. So I'm gonna close this episode. I hope we shot some really good footage of people setting up their booth and we got some first glimpse of some of the plants that were displayed before they were quickly bought up by other people. And I guess tomorrow's episode might be a bit more loud. It might have a bit more background noise because it's gonna be open to the public. There might be MC speaking. So I'm gonna figure it out tomorrow, but I might do the tour by genus. So please do stay tuned for the next few episodes where we tour entire event extensively i'm already seeing so many so many interesting things that i want to talk about so with that i will guess i'm gonna bid you farewell hope that you guys are doing well growing well, and i will see you in the next all right so here are some spiritual sancti these are from tissue culture this particular one is gated look at the patio is putting out it's beautiful but these green forms uh, they're ready for sale. This is 7,000 Thai baht each. And the name of the seller is Dong Ya Farm. This is the green wall that they've been working on. Looks done now. And there's a whole middle section that is filled with Spiritus Sanctii. But for the most part, a lot of them are filled with rare plants. All right, this is tiny plant store. And oh my God, they have the Colocasia variegated. It's insane. Look at Hello. Sorry. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. This one is particularly beautiful. Look at the variegation on this. There's many other alocasias too here that are variegated. That's amazing. That is one particularly beautiful Thai constellation. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God, I crap my pants. This is the variegated Paraiso Verde. <laughs> <laughs> this is the variegated Paris over day, you guys. This is crazy. And this Monstera, it looks like a Monstera Deliciosa, but it's something else. Look at it. It's like very light green. It's not mint. I don't know what this is. But also down below, there's a variegated Alocasia that is pink. And of course, there's a lot of pink princesses here. And this is a black velvet variegated. I'm so excited. I'm very excited for tomorrow, you guys. We're back at Kida Nursery. Apparently, they are like one of the craziest rare plant sellers. They really take huge risks to buy some of the rare plants. And the, the booth is really, really packed. People are actually buying stuff. They're doing really well. This is amazing to see. The name of that begonia is Drac... Pelta. This is the one that we saw earlier. How beautiful, look at that. This is Tropical Plants by Gilberto and this is Kyle over there tending to customers. He's actually one of the representatives coming from Canada, but the plants are coming in from Ecuador. He told me a little bit of a story while he was unloading this all by himself. This is insane that he did all this work. What a hardworking fella. And this is another vendor, they're doing some shopping. So yeah. That's cool. People are buying. I love watching people deal, especially with rare plants. It's exciting to watch transactions going on. This is Mundi Flora Farm from Ecuador. They have a similar format of like rare aeroids. Look at how beautiful. This is a Warroquianum. This came in. All of these just flown in and they are unpacking it now. Oh, wow, they look so fresh. Wow. Did they just come in? Yes, from Ecuador. From Ecuador. How many days were they in the transit? Uh, around four, four to five days. Four days. Oh, they look so good. These are some beautiful. Oh, this is a hypo. Hi 
Trilithol Flora. This is a new genus and it's not an aeroid, I think. Oh, so these are non aeroids. No. Yeah. Gesnerias. Ah, beautiful. This is a Geogenanthus. Poigi. Poipigi. I don't know the name. Yeah. This price is in Thai Bot or in. Yes. Oh, this is a good place. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are so. Oh, oh. And this is a fern, a type of fern that has spores on the outside. Uh, let me see if the name. I love it when they have the names so I can learn about. <gasps> and this patio is beautiful. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a slap here, slap of slap of gasum decoratum, 800 Thai baht. This is beautiful, my goodness. This is amazing. Vendors are basically buying the best of everything from one another. It's like an extreme kind of plant swap happening here. Ah, I'm glad I didn't skip on this day. Hi. Hello. Hi. You're a big fan. Oh, thank you. I just, I just uh, came from the um, Poi convex. Oh, you did? Yeah, I where are you? Uh, Roxley Clan. Yeah, yeah, you with, with Rock. Uh, yeah, Very you cool. were. I did not see you there, but yeah. I saw your booth. Yeah. So this is your <laughs> booth, right? Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> so you do plant and accessories, and you're based yeah. in Bangkok or Chiang Mai? Based in Bangkok. Okay. Do you want to say hi real quick? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and your name, sorry. Ice. 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 Yeah. Nice to be. Yeah, I, I, your name came up. So yeah, you are, your name is Ice. <laughs> and this is the contraption that's happening. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And yeah. very tiring. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. This is beautiful. What is, is this? Skindapsis? Uh, or? Medium, medium. Oh. From southern Thailand. Oh, okay. And it's variegated, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. And it looks like an a medium. medium. The, yeah. the shape medium, medium. The, yeah. will show like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. And a lot of Raphidophoras. Yeah. Let's see what, what's underneath there. Oops, nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing. This is a wild guess here, but this is probably a variegated piper. The non variegated leaf it probably looks something like this but then it, it turns into this when it's variegated you guys this is crazy this is freaking insane beautiful there's smaller forms of these it's called the piper silvaticum yeah silvaticum variegated the piper silva is actually a common piper but this is the variegated one this here is a philodendron martianum variegated and I, I, this is the second time i've seen these the patio <laughs> Look at them, the parties and the patio. I mean, the leaves, of course, every variegated leaf looks kind of like this. But then, what other plants can you see variegation like this on their patio? This is truly something. This one, Philodendron melanochrysum. Beautiful variegation. Some black cardinal variegated. Interesting booth here. They have a lot of really interesting plants. So the name of the previous booth is Sukhi Orchid. Feel free to look them up. There's some Alocasia, it's variegated. This is the Amazonica variegated. This one is beautiful. It's got like white and pink on the leaf. Sorry, there's reflection going on. Let me just try to shield it from the light. Beautiful. Yeah, the pink is not coming through in the, in the video. It's too shiny. Now this is the competition section of the event. This is a beautiful and theater see this kind of colorway but in a leaf that is a lot more narrow this is a little bit rounder I guess Thailand may prefer something that is a little bit rounder there's this philodendron I think it's the polypoides says the screen this is a large large specimen of it and this is a beautiful gloriosum that's an Indonesian plant there's a raphidophora tenui silver glad to see it here in a competition Thailand Beautiful alocasia up here. Gorgeous. And that gloriosum that we filmed earlier with the beautiful variegation, it made it into the competition. Some amazing, sorry, and some amazing Microsorum thailandicum. We're seeing these a lot lately. They must have been quite popular. This is the camphiria that we saw earlier. Look at how crazy they look. They look like a cabbage patch. And they do flop over the pot like this. And I was told that they also grow sideways, so they'll put up pups and they'll just spread out. That you very I think that's got too much makeup on it. A little bit too much. 
Oh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> what is it? Arabica. Ara coffee Arabica or? Oh, cute. Cute. Variegated coffee. And we did see this bromeliad in the entrance earlier on. Look at the flower. It's flowering really beautifully. It may actually have been a Tillandsia if you ask me. It might be a til huge Tillandsia. i wrong. And there's a clump over here. It says thin. Uh, it says it's a bromelia. It's a dikia. It's a kind of dikia. But let's look at the clump here. It's beautifully formed. And I'm guessing all of these are coming in from international. So it's an international plant competition. How's that? Look at how beautiful and electrifying the colors on this. And this we actually saw it unboxed earlier. It came out really sad looking from the box, but it perked up right away within like half a day it's perked up and then there's another bromeliad over here this is huge this is like taller than my shoulders holy smokes holy smokes look at that oh and then there's also more bromeliads here i guess these are all going to the competition this one is amazing this is probably an aloe probably not very but that is what the flowers look like i wish i could get inside Look at how cute those look. They're very, very glossy. And that one there. You see that? You see that? What are you? I think I'm, I, we might have seen this in Holmes' tour in my previous video. But I can't remember if he mentioned what it was. It's so, so out of this world. It looks like Rapunzel. And then the begonia is crazy as well. The dark begonia with the dark pot. How interesting. Actually, that Raphidophora, anyway, silver, that is really. Actually, sure. Thank you. I was just allowed access in here. So, the perks of being a YouTuber this is a Raphidophora tenue silver. How gorgeous. They actually look beautiful like this. Because normally when we buy them, they would still be single like cuttings or very young plant. And someone actually told me earlier that this is actually a very difficult plant to care for. And I'm guessing it's probably because it was only recently discovered and went into cultivation about two years ago. I saw them literally being taken out of the forest and on a lot of nursery floors in Indonesia. And then they were shipped worldwide. And I think this is like the first, like maybe two or third generation of those. But what happens when you have these plants taken off from the forest? It may not be a bad thing, by the way. It may be a good way to conserve them ex situ. Is that over the next generations, the weak ones will die off, and then the stronger ones they will make it into a house plant. So a lot of our house plants actually begin as very finicky and fussy house plants. And this is one that I believe will get easier over time. Because something about the leaf, that the thickness of the leaves tells me that this is probably not the hardest plant to care for. This is a coffee, Arabica, up close. And there, there's the Saracenia that is in bloom. This is what their flowers look like. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. I really love my job. <laughs> Beautiful euphorbia. I only know it's a euphorbia because of the flowers it's putting out. This one also, this is an alocasia. This is nobilis var, variegated. It's got a little bit too much makeup. <laughs> this is a Saracenia. My goodness. Yeah, all the names here. This is the Autumn Ambus. And this dark one we saw, it's called Blank Pink 2. This is a... Um, it's inside out, but it's going to be on the screen as we edit the video. But look at the middles here. It looks like something tried to come out. This is, this is creepy. But look at the leaves. This is beautiful. This is amazing. It's crisping up at the edge. I'm, I'm guessing this is just not e an easy plant to care for. But look at the inside. This is, this is quite interesting, actually. It actually helped to look this way for a specific reason. And we don't know the reason sometimes. These are the bromeliads up close. This is, I think, a Stefania. No, it's a, sorry, it's a Fir Firmania, Firmiana Colotara beautiful codex and the leaves and this is probably the only sense of area that we have seen in the show Sorry. the only sense of area in the show I think I have not seen any sense of area 
surprisingly. And this one is actually a dikia. This is what the leaves look like up close. And this is hilarious. Okay, so the leaves are like pretty interesting color. We don't see this kind of mustard color anywhere. This is an acmea, by the way. Brassy, brassicoides. But look at the new leaves that's coming out. I think it's like such an interesting unfurling process. And yeah, this is a tilangia we finally got up close. Oh, beautiful. Is this the flower or the new leaves? I can't tell you. I think these are the flowers. Flowers, look at the gradation between that flamingo pink into that beautiful silver. This is actually the Alcantaria Imperialis. I'm gonna bid you farewell for sure this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please do look out for the next episode where we do an extensive aeroid only tour of this event, following by a non aeroid tour in the next following episode after that. Now, running a channel is very, very hard work. It's also very, very expensive, especially since I've been traveling, upgrading equipment. I also understand that the world economy is chaotic right now. There's a lot of inflation. I can't say that I'm doing really well financially, to be honest. If by any chance my channel and my work has sparked you joy or benefited your interest in plants or your business and maybe you're one of those people who have been doing really well throughout these hardships i would really appreciate if you could consider giving a donation the easiest way is through my patreon page the information is up above or you could also do a one-off donation if you can or if you're willing to to my paypal account onlyplants.fans at gmail.com direct donations into the paypal account will incur much less fees than if you donated through platforms like patreon depending on the donation amount i would probably do a shout out to thank you personally for the donation or you may even become one of the official sponsors for one of the upcoming episodes thank you so much for your time and i really really hope everyone's doing well and growing well see you in the next episode bye